Another way of choosing a sample is known as systematic sample sampling. And this basically equates to picking every nth thing or nth person. So I'm sure you've experienced that um, where, you know, you've tried to divide the class into in three groups. So every first, you know, label the first, second, third, first, second, third, and then all the ones go together, all the twos go together. Similar to that, but in this case, we don't want everybody in a group. So you just number everybody if you like in the classroom and then you'd pick every say third person to be the sample group so how do we work out how, how, what the n is in the nth bit here well we take the population size and we divide it by the sample size so for example if you had a class of 30 and you wanted um, a sample size of five you do 30 divided by five which would give you six and then you would pick every six person um, from the list okay so let's look at some examples <clears throat> so here they're asking us first of all to pick a systematic sample of 10 from this class OK, so again, just like with a random sampling, you do have to have your population numbered so that you can pick them. Um, now, we want 10 in the first sample. There's 30 in the group altogether. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. So that means we're going to pick every third person. So. That would mean we're going to pick Tom, Nadima, Mohammed, Emma, Miles, Lisa. If you were doing this, you'd have to list them down here, but I just want to save some time. Um, Daniela, Sophie, Fatuna, Marta. I'm sorry, strange name and 30 Karen okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in our sample if we actually only wanted a sample of 6 then we do 30 divided by 6 which gives us 5 so we'd pick every fifth person so I'd pick Jane here and then Rachel and then Miles and then Halim and Catherine and Karen. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Okay. So not really going to do the picking anymore, but just a couple of quick questions. So there's 400 trees in a plantation. They've all been planted in rows, so you could number them from 1 to 400. Describe how to create a systematic sample of 25 trees. So as I say, your first step would be to number each tree from 1 to 400. And then to take a systematic sample, you would do 400 divided by 25 which is 16 so then you would pick every 16th tree yep final one houses in a street are numbered from 1 to 340 describe how to create a systematic sample of size 20 so I'm not going to write that all out again, but we're going to, the houses are already numbered, so that's fine. So we've got to work out 340 divided by 20, which is 17. So that means you would then pick every 17th house for your sample. So that's systematic sampling.